We are about to demonstrate total immobilization using the backstrap spine board, speed blocks, head immobilizer, the stiff neck select and straps with swivel speed clip ends. As part of your daily morning routine, ensure that the back part of the speed block is safely secured to the backstrap spine board with these two straps around the board and one centered at the top. Check that the remaining parts of the equipment needed for immobilization are placed in the blue stiff neck bag. These should include four straps with speed clip ends connected and folded in the bag. Two side blocks for the speed blocks, including two straps. Two adult stiff neck select, adjustable. One stiff neck pedi select, adjustable. One roll of gaffer tape for fixation of lower extremities. The spine board has six sites for fixation. When we are immobilizing a patient, we first secure the chest. Starting with fixation site number one, where the head is placed, fasten the speed clip, pulling the strap diagonally across the chest to fixation site three, where you fasten the other speed clip. Make sure you tighten the strap. Take another strap and repeat in the opposite position until you have a crossover like this. Again, make sure both straps are tight and secure. Now, we turn our attention to securing the lower half of the patient. Similarly, we fasten one speed clip of the strap to fixation site 2. Pulling the strap diagonally across the legs to fasten the other speed clip to fixation site number 4. Repeat again in the opposite position until you have a crossover. And make sure both straps are tightened. You should now have two visible strap crossovers across the chest and legs. Patient size varies and you may need to remove the speed clips from these sites and adjust in order to achieve the crossovers on the chest and legs as just demonstrated. When positioning the patient's head, it is important to ensure that the patient's ears are positioned outside the opening of the base part of the speed blocks. When you have achieved the correct alignment, the side block should be clicked into place with those openings. The side blocks are adjustable and can be moved up and down, as well as from side to side. In cases where a proper alignment of the head cannot be achieved, it is possible to angle the side blocks to secure the head in its existing position. When the two side blocks have been correctly positioned and the patient's head correctly placed, the two yellow buttons on both sides of the head should be locked. This is done by giving them a firm push. The head is now securely positioned. Finally, fasten the two Velcro straps, first over the patient's head from right to left, and then over the patient's chin in the opposite direction from left to right. This will ensure an even pull so as not to risk the patient being disturbed from his or her immobilization position by having two fastening actions from the same side. We have now secured a triple fixation over the patient's head, chest and pelvis. Additional gaffer tape is not to be used for securing the head. The final part of this immobilization procedure will be the positioning of the patient's legs. An ambulance carpet is rolled together and placed between the patient's legs. Use gaffer tape to secure the ankles and fasten under the backstrap spine board. Michael, I would like to have a collar.
We will be using a spine board. On my count, one, two, three. One, two, three. We need to move him upwards 10 centimeters into the center. One, two, three. Two more centimeters. One, two, three. Stop. Now we need to secure the side blocks of the speed blocks. You'll be securing that one. Yes. Now we are fastening the legs. It is done. One, two, three. Summing up, after using the speed blocks, the white foam attached to the side blocks, the universal base and the Velcro straps should be disposed of. The remaining parts can be cleaned according to existing guidelines and procedures at the ambulance station. If severely contaminated, place the different parts in a yellow plastic bag and follow local protocols for safe disposal.